Okay, now let's look at one that involves a fraction. So, a fraction means that we need to apply the quotient rule in order to do the derivative. So let's start that. We're going to first, the, the way the uh, quotient rule works is you have to take the bottom one times the derivative of the top. So bottom is 2x to the fifth minus 3e to the x. All that's going to be multiplied by the derivative of the top. So when you do that, you bring down the 4, derivative of e to the x is itself. So we write e to the x. Then you have minus the top, 4e to the x, times the derivative of the bottom. So we want to do the derivative of this one here. The first one, that involves a power rule. So 5 comes down, multiplies by the 2. So 10x to the fourth. For this one, we have a minus 3, and then derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And so that would be the derivative on top. On the bottom, we have to do this squared, following our quotient rule. The bottom part is always squared. Now let's do some uh, factoring. So factoring for this, I can first pull out the common factor 4e to the x. That's common in uh, both of these, so we'll first start with that. What we're left with is 2x to the fifth minus 3e to the x. But this part has a minus sign in front of it. So I need to put a minus, and all this has to be inside parentheses. Why? Because the negative has to distribute to everything there. Okay, so without, the, without putting the parentheses, you may forget to do that. And so putting the parentheses there reminds us that we have to distribute the, the uh, negative sign through. On the bottom, we're not going to expand this at all. We're going to leave it the same, so I'll leave this alone. Now that we have it factored, what we want to do is simplify the terms on the inside. So once you have the parentheses there, what I'm going to do instead of rewriting the step again, I'm just going to go ahead and distribute the minus sign through. The parentheses reminding me that I have to do that. So I'm just going to remove the parentheses. This will be a plus because again, you're distributing the negative to each thing on the inside and you get this. So now we want to combine the part inside the parentheses. What I notice is these 3e e to the x's, those are both going to cancel, and then we're left with 4e e to the x on the outside, these two here, 2x to the fifth minus 10x to the fourth, and then this is 2x to the fifth minus 3e e to the x squared. The one last thing, if you want to factor it completely, there is one more step that you can do here. There is a 2 that you can pull out of both of those. In fact, there's also uh, an x to the fourth you can pull out as well. So I'm going to factor out a 2x to the fourth power. If I factor that out, it's going to end up being multiplied by what I have on the outside. So I'm pulling out a 2. I already have a 4 outside. That means that's going to turn into an 8. And then I'm going to put an x to the fourth on the outside also, and then I still have the e to the x. What's left on the inside? All right, I took out the 2 and I took out 4 of the x's. That's going to leave you with 1x left over. We have a minus sign. And then here, I took out a 2, which means that's going to be a 5, and the x to the 4th is gone also. And then on the bottom, 2x to the 5th minus 3e to the x squared. This would be the most uh, simplified factored answer. Again, you can always multiply it back through to see if you got the original thing. We could have multiply it out here and it should be exactly the same thing if you multiply this out. So again, this would be your most simplified and factored answer.